Hi my dear friends, welcome, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is your ADC. Simplify the matrix expression by using the Candy Hampton theorem, problem number two. Yes, a three by three matrix. Simplify using Candy Hampton theorem a to the power eight. Yeah, a to the power eight. A is a three cross three matrix. A to the power eight minus five a power seven plus seven a power six minus three a power five, etc., etc., etc. So simplify the matrix expression or find the value. Let us see that A is of 3 by 3 matrix 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2. So what is the characteristic equation? The characteristic equation of A is determinant of A minus lambda i is equal to 0. Right? So there is lambda cube minus S1 lambda squared plus S2 lambda minus S3 equal to 0. So what about S1? Sum of the leading diagonals 2 plus 1 plus 2, 2. So is equal to 5. What about S2? Sum of the diagonals. Sum of the minus through the diagonals. So first diagonal is 2. So this row, this column, so 1, 0, 1, 2. So 1, 0, 1, 2. And second diagonal is this one, this column, and this row, 2, 1, 1, 2. And the third diagonal is 2, this column, and this row, 2, 1, 0, 1. So let's find out the values. What is it? 2, yes, correct. 2, 2, 4, 4 minus 1, 3 plus 2, plus 4, 7, right? What about S3? S3 is the determinant of the A. So it's equal to plus, minus, plus. So 2 into 1, 2, sir, 2, minus 1 into this row, this column, 0, 0, 0, minus 0, so 0, plus 1 into this row and this column, 0 into 1 is 0, minus 1. So, think, so 4 minus 1 is 0. So I find out the S1, S2, S3. So what is S1, S2, S3? So S1 is 5, S2 is 7, S3 is 3. So the substitute the base of S1, S2, S3. This is plus, minus, plus, minus alternatively. So what we will get? You will get it is lambda cube. Is right? What about the S1? S1 is 5. So minus 5 lambda square plus S2. S2 is 7. So 7 lambda. And what about S3? S3 is 3. So minus 3. But Kelly Hamilton theorem states that every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. So this is from the matrix A. So obviously, when we replace lambda by A, it satisfies this equation. So what we get? A cube minus 5A square plus 7A minus 3 into I is equal to 0 matrix. So this is my star equation. Let us use this star equation to simplify the given matrix expression. How? Can you see that? Sir, a power 8 minus 5, I think minus 5, plus 7, plus 7, minus 3. So almost the coefficients are same. So can I pick 1, 2, 3, 4? Four? 4 terms. First 4 terms. From the first 4 terms, I can take the maximum 8 to the power 5 outside. What's the balance here? 8 power 3. This becomes minus 5a square. This becomes plus 7a. And this becomes minus 3 into r. So what about a cube minus 5a square plus 7a minus 3a? 0. So by the star equation, this will come 0. So the first four terms is completely washed out. Completely washed out. Yeah, that's it. So what about the remaining? So the remaining, what is the remaining here? So this is plus a power 4. So I can pick the next four terms. But if you see the coefficients, here 1, okay, no problem, here 1. Here minus 5, here also minus 5, so no problem. So two are coming forward. But here we have plus 7, but here we have plus 8. So can we split up 8 by 7 plus 1? I need minus 3 here, here we have minus 2. So we can rearrange the so how to rearrange it? Let us see that. This a power 4 minus 5 a power 3. Now this 8 a squared can be done as 7 a squared plus a squared. How much? 7 a squared plus a squared is 8 a squared. Is right? So then finally I need minus 3. Minus 3. So it is minus 2. So if it is minus 3 a, then when we add with plus a, we get minus 2 a. So this minus 2 a is equal to minus 3 a plus a. This plus a squared equal to plus 7 plus 1. 7 plus 1 is a. And finally it is i. Now, 
This is already 0. This is now already 0. So the first term is 0 plus. Now I can pick 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Can I choose A outside? Again, it is A power 3 minus 5A square plus 7A minus 3I. So once again, what is the value for this one? By using the star equation, this is nothing but 0. Is that right? So A cube minus 5A square plus 7A minus 3 is 0. So once again, this is also 0. So what's the balance? The balance is A square plus A plus I. So by equation of a star, this expression, very lengthy expression, can be simplified into finally A square plus A plus I. Let us find out the A square value. What's the A square value? Now from this A, the A square value is 855030. A square value. Okay. Yes, 544. Yes, 544. 544. 0, 1, 0. Then 445. This is the A square value. And A is the given matrix. 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2. And finally, the I. I is the identity matrix that of A. This is the same order 3 by 3. So 5 plus 2 plus 1 is 8. 4 plus 1 it is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5, 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0, 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, then 5 plus 2 plus 1 is 8. So this is the value of this lengthy matrix expression. This lengthy matrix expression. Okay. I hope you understand the significant application of the Kelly Hamden theorem. This is the very must and important tool in the matrices. You cannot find even a power 3, a power 4, a power 5, a power 6, a power 7, a power 8. But let's reduce this into, let us simplify this into with the help of this Kelly Hampton theorem. Because Kelly Hampton theorem says that every square matrix satisfies its own characteristic equation. So by using this star equation, I can wash out first four terms. Then let us rearrange the rest of the term to apply the star equation, to value the star equation. So finally we get a squared plus a plus i. Find out the a squared only. So a is given, i is the identity matrix of 3 by 3. So we get the required answer for the very lengthy expression without finding any even a power 3. Understand? I hope everyone is understand this uh, video. Thank you so much for supporting our YouTube channel, EDC Max. Please kindly subscribe, support, recommend, and share this YouTube channel videos to your friends so that they also got benefited, they also got enjoyed, right? So Max is always a funny subject, it's a fun. So if you take it seriously, this becomes very bored and very tough. If you take it, it is a simple, it's a fun, it's a fun one because once you get the answer, you got a lot of happiness in your mind. You feel that ah, I got the answer, I achieved the goal. So you got some satisfaction, you got some happiness. So that is the really the, the, the mathematics, mathematics which gives the fruitful, enjoy, enjoyable life, the momentum, the feelings. So that is the mathematics. I love mathematics. What about you? You too, I think so. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching our YouTube channel.